it's your boy Chris Zoles and I'm back with another video. Yo, listen, I ain't make a video in a minute. Been doing a lot of things behind the scenes, so I'm back to it. You get what I'm saying? And yo, this video, I'm going to be talking about relationships, pure relationships. You know what I'm saying? I've been seeing a lot of relationship talk on like the shade room. Uh, different blogs, uh, different YouTube channels. A lot of people have been talking about relationships and like why relationships is quote unquote dead, uh, why his marriages are failing, etc. So I'm gonna talk about relationships on this episode on this you feel what I'm saying on this video. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna get lit. Yo, before I even get into this video, I need y'all to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Get them views up. Hit the, hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Help a nigga out. Hit, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get to it. Yo, but listen. Like I said. I'm seeing a lot of relationship talk, man. A lot of relationship talk. I guess, um, what's her name? Megan Good and her fiance or husband, whatever you want to call her, they got divorced. A lot of divorces have been happening on, if I'm saying celebrity divorces, people have been breaking up left and right. And I just wanted to make a video on why I feel like relationships are not lasting. Not even with celebrities, just people, period. You know what I'm saying? Why a lot of relationships is not lasting, why marriages is like felling and etc. And in my opinion, I feel like relationships is not lasting because a lot of people compare their relationships to the next people's relationships. You feel what I'm saying? And social media plays a huge part in all of it. Like, social media is one of the main reasons why relationships are failing. Now, not the main reason, but one of them. A lot of people will see the next person relationship or these quote unquote celebrities relationships and then compare their situation to that situation. You know what I'm saying? They'll see a dude do things for his girl or a girl do things for her man or whatever you want to call it. And then they'll look at their partner like, yo, why you not doing this? Like, why you, why you not doing what I'm seeing other people doing? But they don't know that other person or people's situation. So, I feel like a lot of relationships is compared to other people's relationships, and that's why it's failing. You can't compare what the fuck another person got going on in your situation because you don't know what's going on behind the doors. A lot of people just post. Happy moments on social media and their relationships. You don't know how many how many arguments they go through. You don't know their financial situation. You don't know shit besides what you see on the gram or on Facebook or whatever you see it on. So and then once people start comparing shit, they looking at their partner all sideways because they feel like, oh, my partner is not quote unquote living up to my standards. Because of what they see In another relationship But like I said You don't know what's going on In that relationship So If you want your relationship to last You need to more focus on like What can you do more for your partner Or if you feel like your partner's not stepping up You need to communicate to your partner Like yo In a nice way If I'm saying I feel like Oh this should be happening And vice versa like communication should be number one. That's a definitely fact. Communication definitely should be number one in any type of relationship, you feel what I'm saying? But don't compare this quote unquote celebrity bullshit you see on social media to your to your relationship. Like you feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of a lot of females, I'm gonna be real, a lot of females see niggas buying Chanel bags, Gucci shoes, and all this other bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Not saying you shouldn't do that sometimes, but seeing all this, you know, bullshit on the social media, and just cause your boyfriend is not buying you all these expensive gifts, people will compare that like, oh, my man not stepping up, this, that, and the third. Your man busting his eyes to help provide for you and himself. You feel what I'm saying? So 
you should appreciate your partner and vice versa like guys too just because like your girl is not let's say looking like uh a ig quote unquote model and these influencers and all this fake shit going on guys would be like damn my girl not looking like this down the third is like bro you got with your girl you know what she look like so why are you comparing your girl to like these other social media bullshit you see that's fake as hell instead of just appreciating your girl and if she holding you down day one why are you tripping you feel what i'm saying so a lot of people need to stop comparing shit that they see on the shade room ball alert or this quote unquote relationship goals and this down the third it's all bullshit like focus on what you got in front of you and make the best and enjoy the moment like enjoy the moment with your partner focus on what you got going on and you should be lit but stop comparing shit because once you compare shit it's not going you're not going not going to be not going to be happy you definitely not going to be happy you feel what i'm saying so i say stop comparing your relationship and also stop thinking the grass is greener on the other side because nine times out of ten it's deaf shit 95 percent of the time 99 percent of the time it's never what you think it is if you think the grass is greener on the other side because a lot of people will monkey branch your relationship to relationship instead of really focus on what they have going on relationships take patience everybody's different that person might not see what you see and vice versa now that person doing a lot of bullshit you know like cheating and putting his hands on you or she putting your hands on her i mean on you or if i'm saying being disrespectful all the time and etc then i i agree i ain't taking bullshit you do that shit once i'm out you know what i'm saying but if it's things you know you could work on be patient with your partner because that person like i said viewpoints is probably different than yours now if they continue to do it then you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta do what you want to do you probably just gotta leave but relationships comes down to also being patient a lot of people in this generation now is not patient they expect everybody just to a b c and d like bro chill sis relax Sometimes you gotta explain to a person like, yo, this is how I view it and vice versa. Because this generation is just not patient at all. And then they think they could find another boyfriend or girlfriend like that. You know what I'm saying? That really fucks with you as a person. You know what I'm saying? So relationships definitely come down to patience. Like that's that's a fact. Relationships definitely come down to patience because you're part you you not perfect. So how you expect your partner to be perfect if you're not perfect your damn self? Like you gotta look in the mirror yourself and see that, oh, if I'm not perfect, how I'm gonna expect my girl or my boyfriend to be perfect? It's impossible, be human, we fuck up sometimes. Like I said, they continue to keep fucking up and you probably got, you know, slide from that relationship if you want. But like I said, we, we all human beings, we different human beings, so be patient in your relationship just don't something go left one time oh let me get the hell out of here like no try your best let, let that person know and if you trying your best or if your partner's trying your best then y'all should fix the problem but you know patience is definitely left in this generation which is capped to me but that's 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 definitely facts be patient with your partner you get what i'm saying and another reason I feel like relationships is not lasting is because a lot of people jump in relationships too damn early. You don't know that person. People date for a month, two, three months and then jump in. Like, yo, take time to know that person before you make that person your girlfriend or you make that person your boyfriend or whatever you want to do. Because people will think they know a person and then some shit happened a year down the line or a couple months after you get in a relationship and you'd be surprised like oh this person changing or he changing she changing she getting an attitude now or this dude not doing this it's like nah that always been that person 
you just didn't take time to actually get to know that person fully because people could fake who they are quick but they can't fake it for too long eventually that real person is gonna come out so if you're not really taking your time to like get to really know that person then your relationship is gonna fail like people would jump in relationships from another relationship not taking time to heal not taking time to really work on themselves and fix a problem that they had because in your last relationship you just can't blame your partner for everything everybody done fucked up everybody done did some mistake bullshit take accountability of what you did in your last relationship and don't bring it to your new partner because that's not just unfair to you but it's unfair to your partner as well so that's definitely definitely get to know your partner like ask questions like you need to be asking real questions like yo how did you grow up where you see yourself in a couple years do you want kids what's your goals like how is your relationship with your mom your dad like a lot of people don't be asking questions like this a lot of people just look physically oh we look good in the picture and think they know the person oh what's your favorite food like nah nah you should be asking real questions like yo what's this what's that to fully get to know that person if you don't know that person don't be surprised when that person do bullshit quick because you didn't get to fucking know the person so i feel like that's what a lot of people get wrong it's not getting to actually know fully who they're dating before they get into a relationship people move in together in two months one month three months it's like bruh yeah i gotta get to know that person and also get to know yourself like if you don't know yourself how you expect to get to know somebody else if you don't know yourself get to know yourself before you even get into a relationship a lot of people don't do that too a lot of people don't know who they are so if you don't know who you are how you expect to know somebody else or somebody get to know you if you don't know yourself it makes no sense like so definitely heal before you get into a relationship make sure your mind is right and make sure you get to know that person before you even get into any type of situation you feel me and another thing why relationships is on last is because a lot of people expect everything to be about them like you don't go into a relationship saying to yourself like what this person could do for me now granted you should be going to your relationship like i um what can this person a little bit bring to the table facts like you should have a little little list like oh do this person got a job do this person have the same goals i have uh do this is this person responsible like facts you definitely should look at all that but you shouldn't be going to the relationship like oh me 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 like a relationship is supposed to be like yo how can i make this person the best for me or for even for himself and vice versa like you should be going to a relationship like yo i'm about to help this person out and i want him to help me out and y'all do it together not just me 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 because when it's just when you're just looking at it like you and you're not like appreciating your partner and all that shit your relationship is going to become real stale quick so don't go in a relationship like everything should be about me you feel what i'm saying like that's one thing you should never do you feel what i'm saying that's one thing you definitely should never do in a relationship because you're supposed to be helping that person become the best of like himself or herself like that's what a relationship is about about building with each other building each other up not just saying oh what does he offer what did she offer like it should be 100 percent coming together making that person be the best as himself and vice versa so that's definitely why a lot of relationships is not lasting like so that's my opinion on why relationships is not lasting you feel what i'm saying what y'all think i want y'all to leave a like comment subscribe to my channel and until next time i'm out peace